Okay, Virgo, happy birthday and whatever. I just did Leo. Something wasn't right. I had to get it out, clear it up. Okay, whatever. I'm human. I don't know what that was, baby, but uh, we had to check that, whatever, where it was and where it stood. All right. <clears throat> Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I really appreciate it. Okay. Any information that you need will be in the description box, darling. Okay. I promise it's there. I believe. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you so much for your love and support. So the first thing that we'll do is get your spiritual messages popping. And then we're going to pick out the big girls. Pull out the big girls. And they're going to tell you the rest of what's going on, Virgo. Let's get it popping. I'm not a Virgo today. I think I'm a cancer. Okay. All right. Angels, what information do you have for Virgo from now until the end of September? Thank you. All right. Virgo. Past, present, future, wherever you are on your journey. Okay. Dang. Whatever. Show my belly chain. All right. So. Some of you may um, recently have gone through some issues with um, home improvements. Something to do with the home, right? There may have been an uproar. There may have been some things that were off about your home environment is what I'm getting real strong here. They just want you to know that they're ushering in peace and tranquility. They are also um, here to let you know that Whatever it is that you, your desired outcome will come to fruition in the near future. Whatever it is that you have put forth, is, you'll begin to see things unravel right before you. Many of you may be in a space of trying to, um, you may be learning something new. Overall, it feels like you may be like studying yourself and those things around you. People, places, situations around you. It get, I'm getting here with this patience card. They want you to really um, go through the process. Don't try to rush things to happen. Just know that everything happens on its own accord. Everything happens in divine timing. They're assisting you with healing some old emotional wounds. Some of you may have been um, going through some emotional setbacks, um, having to learn from pain and sorrow, really knowing what you want moving forward, what you need to release from the past in order for you to move forward here. And you can call on Archangel uh, Uriel for that for that assistance because they're really assisting you in healing old wounds whatever it is that may have been dis that may have disrupted your um, home life in the recent past just know that they are assisting you with it they're bringing tranquility to you it also feels like um, some of you may have recently purchased a home and you are um, in a purchased a home or maybe you relocated It feels like you may have picked the right house, the right uh, place, abode. Some of you are in a gathering stage. In this gathering stage, what you are about to, um, the things that you are learning right now about yourself, your surroundings, just whatever it is that you are learning, you're in a gathering stage. You're going to be able to synthesize, use this knowledge in the future, right? They're also saying here, that with the, the this knowledge that you are attaining there are some life changes that you will have to make in order for you to move forward there are some things that you're going to have to um you need to know who what and you know what what can go move forward with you what will you need to move forward some of you feel may get to a space where you feel as though you don't know if you can move forward or not. But Archangel Michael is assisting you with that. Um, I'm seeing here where, for those of you who may um, work with young children, you may be writing children's books. They're saying that you're going to have the, um, yeah, you're going to have the, there's an offer being made about a book, a child's book. But overall, for those of you who work with um, children, this is part of your divine life purpose, whatever field you are in to work with young children. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Virgo. Look. Some of you are holding on to something emotional. It could be a person. It could be a situation. I don't know. But you're holding on to something emotional. Something, uh, you're holding on to something 
that you need to release. And it's like you may be holding on to a person or um, a dream that you had about how you wanted something to go and you're seeing where, you know, it's time for you to let go of hope on certain situations. They're helping you with that, but that's coming out real strong. Some of you need to accept an apology that you may not ever receive. Acknowledge the mistakes that have, um, someone may be acknowledging mistakes to you or you're waiting for someone to acknowledge their mistakes in order for you to move forward. You're going to have to find peace within yourself before doing so. You know, whenever it may happen, you just can't wait for it to happen forever because sometimes I waited for an apology. It took 12 years, right? So I had to accept an apology I wouldn't receive, and then I knew it was coming. I didn't know when, but it took almost 12 years. All right. So I see where in the month of September you will be assessing new ways of doing things. You will begin new projects in the month of September here. Some of you will be giving birth in the month of September. You need to know that your children on earth and in heaven are protected overall. Um, in the month of September, some of you may have a rainbow baby birthday. You know, light your candles and embrace the warmth of that uh, baby at that time. There's also, um, some of you will be making peace with someone who's going to get you pregnant. Or you'll be, guys, you'll be making peace with someone, you're going to get them pregnant. It's right here. You can't stop me by from getting pregnant. Use a condom. Ladies, you, I can't tell ladies to use birth control. I had birth control. I think it almost killed me. Well, yeah. I feel like when it comes to this cre this new beginning, this creative um, endeavor, this new way, this new approach of, um, of doing things in your relationship situations or what have you, new jobs or what have you, you're going to come to a space where you need to make a decision. And you may even feel as though you don't even want to make a decision at that time. But you will make a decision. And that's either you or maybe an air sign that you are dealing with. But a decision will need to be made. I'm also seeing where, you know, you may be stumped on which way to go or how to do things. And you will get an epiphany. There's going to be a number of things available to you. And you'll get an epiphany on which way to go and how to move forward here. <clears throat> All right. So let's see what's going on, Virgo. may have to do a Leo bonus reading. Do not tell them. Because then they're, they're going to be saying it every day. But what about our bonus reading? Don't tell them. Woo, it ain't they bitch chat. But I may have to do one because I don't know what that was. Ooh. I told y'all. Some of y'all are walking through the door of romance. When you, walk in th when you walk through the door of romance, this could be someone new coming in or reignited passion with someone that you are already dealing with. But I'm just hearing love birds. And when you hear love birds, it's real true love. I want some of that. I'm a Virgo today. Whatever. Angels, what information do you have for my beautiful Virgos? Baby, get to it. Thank you, darling. All right. Many of you are coming out of a state of depression, a state of anxiety, not knowing which way to go or how to go moving forward. I'm seeing here, and a lot of this has to do with matters of the heart. I really do feel like it. So now then. You may have been obsessing over someone that the tables have turned. It may be an earth sign, an air sign. Earth, air, fire. But overall, I see where you are moving into balancing your mind, body, and spirit. You're balancing, okay? Making shit right. Some of you may even be in a state of um, introversion moving forward. There may be some anxiety surrounding money, but here's an air sign again. If it's not an air sign, it's someone with air qualities, or it has a lot to do with mental communication, communication, logic, blah, blah, blah. Yes? A judge, a teacher, professor. Military, law, I don't know, but y'all have really been in a state of worrying about or obsessing over something being handled in a fair manner. Someone may, um, this, okay, so the first scenario, you may have been losing sleep or overthinking a situation dealing with someone of in power, of power, however that resonates with you. Feeling this person either feels, like, either feels like they've been left out in the cold or you feel like you've been left out in the cold. But overall, it just feels as though there's some anxiety surrounding that, like period. Something to do with possibly money or maybe um, having to move with someone, if that makes sense. 
Now, the other way to look at this is that um, some of you were waiting for um, the, with this trial that um, happened or this court case that went on. You thought that it would be handled in another in one way and it was handled in another. You feel like um, you weren't taking your your needs, your wants weren't taken into consideration with this ruling. Or that's how you feel like it will go. But at the end of the day, okay, at the end, bail on my altar. Got this. Look, okay. You can either expect, it's important to expect the unexpected, okay? Now, we can always say how we want things to go, how we wish things would go, be hoping, praying, want some luck on our side, right? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But at the end of the day, things, if you, it depends on if you see the glass half full or half empty. Do, do things work out in your favor because you had these huge expectations and you didn't really um, weigh things out to like, okay, well, this is the other way that it could possibly go, but I'm going to focus on where I want it to go. That's different. Because I really feel like some of you may be in a state, in a, in a position of just, you know, just wanting to beat the hell out the judge or attorney. You just want to beat the hell out of them because you feel like, no, I, I didn't get my just due out of this, Right. Or with whoever this person may be that you feel like even though they, they don't come from a space of um, emotion, you just wish they would see things your way. Even though we feel like everything doesn't happen how we want them to, everything happens as it should. Everything happens for a reason, yes? Even some of the most detrimental bullshit as just low vibe stuff happens for a reason as well. We ain't going to get into that. Now, that being said, I see many of you um, getting... Um, you're on the right path, especially when it comes to what you're bringing in. Um, so be very mindful going into the month of September about what it is that you want to manifest moving forward because you have a lot of spirits surrounding you here, helping you. Many of you may even, um, your connection to spirit is going to be stronger, it feels like here. I see that you will be walking through the door of value. Walking through the door of value, darling. You will be looking over what you value about yourself, other people, your situation overall, but also you're getting the coin. And it came in, it's crossing chicken little, chicken little. Because even crossing that is blossoming abundance. Whatever abundance is to you, it just feel like it's going to be hanging from trees. Yes? Smell the flowers and they smell your back. Sacred chopper going to be popping manifesting your true desires here it's a lot of beautiful energy until i get to this card but we're gonna wait a minute because that can go a lot of ways however you walk through the door of value blossoming abundance is yours the coin is falling right so you will be getting to the coin in the month of september going into september beautiful 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 right yo i told your ass look at this some of you will um, actually be um, working with others to get what it is that you want. You are realizing that that is important for your journey, where you are on your path right now. I see a lot of celebrating victory. I see a lot of expansion coming in for you. I see where you took a chance and it worked out for you. And I'm also seeing here, some of y'all that walk through the door of romance, you walked in with somebody in a red dress or some red boxer briefs. Okay. It feels as though um, some of you are walking into a third-party situation in the month of September. And you're going to need to assert yourself. It feels like if you know what it is that you want moving forward, you get what you want, regardless of how it appears to you. There's that earth sign again, Capricorn, or an air sign, Cancer. <clears throat> some of you may be taking a road trip with this person or they are leaving you and this is where they will meet someone because they can cross up the energy can cross up like that it feels like you may be moving away from a third party situation once you find out for you gonna walk in the door of romance and walk right out nope <laughs> bye charles yes you ain't got time i see that you will be focused moving forward regardless of whatever happens i do see a lot of people coming in to assist you overall because we're getting up out of that situation right there um i'm also seeing here where like uh you may be joining some type of group um may may it be a meetup group may it be um whatever it is a community coming together with people of like minds here 
It feels like you, somebody's worth it all. See, that keep coming up. Someone is really uh, coming towards you with um, a lot to say in the month of September. It's going to be on you which way you go with it. You may be um, texting, communicating with this person, trying to get, you know, what it is that you want. And I just feel like some of you will just pick up and you're on your way. You're just going to text OMW and you're on your way. There's a huge sexual um, connection between you and someone. It could be a Libra or anybody else. <clears throat> I do see where you will be standing on your own two feet in the month of September. You will really be um, focused on your work. But I'm also seeing here that there may be an earth sign female that is going to give you some very um, strong advice about where you are and how they can help you move forward with whatever it is that you want. Your heart's true desires, the romantic stirrings of your heart, the romantic stirrings of the universe. Angels, give me more information about this. Some of you are getting um, a blessing from the universe that it, it, it was supposed to happen. It's going to feel right. Don't question it. Because it feels like some of you may be in a space of, what do you mean that $100,000 is for me, right? And you're looking for loopholes. You're looking for how how to, what, what what is confusing you, whatever this blessing is that's coming in for you. It may not be $100,000. I'm just saying <clears throat> so you'll be looking for loopholes, but I just feel like it's, it's this is divine timing at play. You will be in full Virgo mode the first two weeks of September, getting all kinds of things done, really analyzing things for what they are and moving forward. A lot of things that were stressing you out the first of September will no longer stress you out by the end of it. Yep, there it is. Standing on your own, too. Um, really embracing all of who you are by the end of September. Like, you're going to be feeling good, looking good. With or without someone, you are fine. Um, some of you may even be cohabitating, as I stated earlier. I feel like you may be cohabitating and really getting your ten of cups out of this. Like, a, um, you may be meeting someone at some type of event. <clears throat> and really not even looking for anyone. And boom, there it is, right? It feels like right when you thought that you um, had been through it all and seen it all, earth, earth, water, fire. You feel like you've been through it all and you feel like, you know, you have so much on your plate that you can't take on anyone else, but they're going to make room up in your life, baby. Right here. Yep, I'm not a Virgo today. I'm not a Virgo at the end of September. Whatever. I'm not. But it feels like you're going to, you know, either you're going to be meeting someone or this is where <clears throat> a lot of um, beautiful energy in your relationship will um, be moving full speed ahead. It also feels like some of you may be at-home moms. And you'll get to a space of wanting to, like, you wanted things to work this way or that way. And, like, I want to go back to work. And your spouse was like, no, I think you should really stay at the house, right? It could take you to do the, the, the good work that you are doing at home. And I, I just feel like you're, you will be going back to the drawing board on this one, really working on your relationship, working on practical matters. I also get a lot of, like, renovations. <sighs> Renovating. Vocational trainings. Uh, training, going back to school, wanting to rebuild your relationships, wanting to rebuild your home, just wanting to build from the ground up. You really are going back to the drawing board by the end of September. All right, Virgo, that is your reading. <clears throat> I love y'all. Y'all getting the coin. Go, Virgo. Y'all getting the coin and the love. Some good sex, everything, whatever.